Hey, I'm Guy Powell, and welcome to the next episode of the backstory on marketing and AI. If you haven't already done so, please visit ProRelevant.com and sign up for all these episodes and podcasts. I am the author of the newly released book, The Post-COVID Marketing Machine, Prepare Your Team to Win. And you can find out more information on this book at marketingmachine.prorelevant.com. There is so much going on today in marketing and AI, and especially as AI and especially generative AI exploded onto the scene here in the beginning of the year. Marketers are learning more and more about how to take advantage of it and build creative solutions that can really differentiate their brands. Whether you're a small or a large marketer, getting AI to work for them can be a great differentiator in the market. Today, I'm interviewing Peter Voss. He's the founder, CEO, and chief scientist at AGI Innovations and Igo.ai. So let me tell you a little bit about Peter. He is a pioneer in AI who, con who coined the term artificial general intelligence. He is the CEO and chief scientist at Igo.ai. And for the past 15 years, Peter Voss and his team at Igo have been perfecting an industry disruptive, highly intelligent, and hyper personalized chatbot with a brain for large enterprise customers. Welcome, Peter. Thank you. Yeah, thank you for being here. Really appreciate it. So, uh, so tell us uh, how what is your backstory on how you got involved in marketing and AI, and uh, and then how did you get to where you are today? Well, uh, I'll try to keep it brief, but I. I started out as an electronics engineer, uh, started my own electronics company, and then fell in love with software. So my company turned into a software company. I developed an ERP package, a comprehensive ERP package for small to medium-sized businesses. And that company was quite successful, went from the garage to 400 people and did an IPO. So that was very exciting. It's when I exited that company that uh, I started thinking, well, what big project do I want to tackle next? And uh, it occurred to me that software really is quite stupid. <laughs> you know, if the programmer <laughs> doesn't think of something, it'll just crash. It doesn't have common sense and it doesn't really learn. So how can we fix it? How can we build intelligent software? And so I went on a journey of uh, discovering or really learning about what intelligence is all about, what human level intelligence, you know, how do children learn, how does our intelligence differ from animals, what do IQ tests measure, and, you know, all the work that has been done in the field of artificial intelligence. And it's a culmination of that, um, the, the, the studies um, really brought me to a point to start building um, a, an artificial brain, uh, you know, to build a system that can think, learn, and reason more the way humans do. And that's what's been consuming me for the last uh, 20 years. So uh, it's been alternating between R&D, developing the technology, and then commercializing it. Um, so that's really how I got to where yeah. we are today. Yeah, fascinating. I, I hate to say it. I was also in my earlier life an electrical engineer, so... Uh, and now I'm in marketing and business consulting and analytics a little bit as well, of course, on the consulting side. And uh, so fantastic. So tell us about uh, Igo.ai, your company. Right. So we call it a chatbot with a brain. Now, um, basically, the distinction is that all the other thousands of different chatbots that are out there don't have a brain. Um, the way they operate is actually pretty um old technology is essentially a categorizer that you know you say something like blah 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 weather and oh okay we'll trigger the weather uh, routine or but then you could also say i hate uber don't ever give me uber again and it'll probably still trigger the uber app and then there's kind of a flowchart type program where it will ask you where do you want to go how many people are going and do you want uber x um so that's pretty much the technology that uh, most chatbots or you know, the majority of chatbots out there are. And this is what makes them so frustrating because they don't um, take you know, context into account. What you said earlier in the conversation, you can't easily break out of that flowchart program 
and that really don't have deep understanding uh, or, or reasoning, common sense reasoning. So our approach is to to have this artificial brain or cognitive engine that has short-term memory, it remembers what you said earlier in the conversation, it has long-term memory, it remembers what you said in prior conversations, and it uses context and reasoning to have a much deeper understanding that allows you to you know, jump from one topic to another uh, seamlessly. And so, you know, that, that gives us, a, 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 it creates a much better customer experience and also allows us to have a much higher completion rate as far as automation goes. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. I know sometimes, um, uh, you know, it's easy to get frustrated with chatbots. Quite often, the chatbot is trying to <laughs> not give you the answer. And I don't know uh, about you, but it, it, the reason why I'm going to the chatbot is I want to get a very specific answer. <laughs> and and the chatbots are really there to give you a very generalized answer. And so, you know, then it's really a... Yeah.